guys and welcome back to the wishing shed. Today I'm going to show you how to put together this adorable little hand stitched hedgehog doll. I really hope you enjoy. The first thing to do is to cut out your paper templates. I've printed my pattern out onto an A4 label. That way you can stick the pieces directly down onto the felt and it will stop them slipping around as you cut around the templates. And you pull the labels off to do it slowly so that you don't pull the felt too much and misshape it. So this um, wool felt fabric is actually really nice. It's 100% wool felt fabric you can buy on um, online, on eBay or on Etsy. And this is just a cream colour. Okay, so I've got my embroidery skein and I'm going to separate that. I actually am going to use two strands. So you can use one or two strands, whichever you prefer. Um, so just going to separate those now. Just pull apart carefully like this. And we're going to sew point A to point B. And we're starting in between the felt, so that will just hide the knot. And we're going to sew all the way down just um, along the top here using a whip stitch. Now we're going to carefully line up the other side of the body section to match. And if you want to, you can pin that in place or you can use a basting stitch just to hold it in place and then undo that later. Um, so we want to line up here. And now we're going to sew point B to point C. So just along the top here. So just continue our sewing. And then you can secure the end of your sewing here with the knot of your choice. I'm going to actually use a small, just a small blanket stitch knot, like that. And pull it back down to the underside of the felt. Okay, now we're going to sew the front body sections together, point D, finishing at point B. Again, starting on the inside, just to hide the knot, and just going to do a whip stitch all the way up the front. And again, finish your sewing with the knot of your choice. Okay guys, now let's add the little plush eyes. So just uh, go through the mark that you made earlier just to make that a little bit bigger for the eye socket. And I'm using three millimeter plush eyes. I love using these, they're great. They can be a little bit fiddly, but you just wanna push that through like so, push quite firm and then add the plush backs and then I like to cut the excess lengths off at the back just to trim them down because um, when you stuff later it just helps not to um, dislodge the eyes. 
For the spikes of our hedgehog, I'm using this lovely mohair um, fabric and it's just perfect. It's a just hedgehog fur fabric, mohair fur fabric. You can find it on eBay or Etsy. Um, and you want to make sure that the direction is following that as shown on the template. So the spikes are running down like this. I'm going to draw around this before I cut it out. Or you can just pin it and then cut around, it's up to you. And when you're cutting, try and just do more like little snips around. Um, that way you won't cut any of the spikes on the, on the other side. You just want to literally snip away at the backing fabric like this. Tiny little snips. There we go. To, um, turn the nose push it in because we want to sew this right sides together now you want to line up the middle of the body here with the middle of the spiky fabric and get it as even as you can and this is bigger this is the back section is bigger but it needs to be because it's going to dome out once you start sewing around so once you've got it into position central like this just put a couple of pins in to hold together. Okay guys, now we're going to start from the bottom and you want to literally make sure that you match the edges. So tuck in all these spikes like this, make sure it's all tucked in as you sew. Starting at the bottom, you want to leave approximately three centimeters gap at the bottom so we can turn the little hedgehog out and this time we're going to use a blanket stitch so I've tied a knot in the end of my thread I'm going to anchor on the stitch first like this oops gone a bit okay just anchor your stitch on and then Use a small blanket stitch all the way around. Put the tucking in. can see here and um, you really have to make sure that you pull to match the edges together like that. So as you can see it's all nicely stitched and now we can turn him the right way round so just carefully Push this from the sides. Like so. Just careful not to push too hard. Okay, so now we're going to add little bits of stuffing. I like to use wool stuffing, but you can use any toy stuffing that you, you like. And just little bits at a time. And you can use a long matchstick or pencil just to help push that down into the head, into the nose. And use your fingers to help shape as well. And you want to stuff quite firmly. So again, use your fingers to help shape the wool uh, into the head. And then once you're happy with the head shape, you can keep adding to finish stuffing the body. I like to stuff quite firmly just to give him a nice little podgy belly like that. And then once you've 
you're happy with the, the body, you just want to use a blanket stitch to close the opening at the bottom. Done. Uh, just use your needle to carefully unpick any of the spikes of the mohair fabric that are stuck in the stitches, just like that. Sometimes they get caught. I make the ears, and the ears I'm using a slightly um, darker shade of cream, more like a beige. Position the ears on, so I like to do the inside of the ear in line with the stitch on the top of the gusset like that. And then you just want to whip stitch those on. Now I'm just going to sew on a little black bead for the nose. So I've got a knot in the end of my thread and you want to come down to the end of the nose. Just pull that through and then just sew the nose into place. And sign off at the back with a blanket stitch. Again, I'm going to use the tip of my needle to drag some of the fibres out to the tip of the nose, just to hide those black stitches like this. And then you can smooth a little bit of PVA glue uh, with water, mixed with water, just around, just to keep those in place like that. arm so we just want to fold the arm piece in half and then starting at the thinner end in between the fabric just hide your knot and just sew a whip stitch neatly all the way around And then fold your pipe cleaner piece, just push that down into the arm. And then you want to carry on with your whip stitch. Just around the top of the shoulder. And I'm going to carefully drag some of the felt fabric fibres out over the stitches like we did for the nose, just around the ends like this. And then shape using your fingers and just smooth. There you go. And make the feet in a similar way. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, pink chalk pastel or soft pastel to colour in the pores, the little hands, and also on the toes, on the feet. I'm going to anchor a stitch on the inside of the shoulder. And then sew that about there, right through to the other side. So keep it nice and straight, like that. And then we just sew the inside of that shoulder. and then back through. And I'm 
going to sign off under the armpit. that stitch and I've anchored the feet on um, so I've anchored the first little foot on and you want to position that about halfway back and at the bottom and then just literally sew up and I'm going to sew the other foot on And I just cut a little scarf to go around my hedgehog. This one's a girl hedgehog. Okay, just make a couple of quick little flowers. Um. There you go, so I also made a little snail to go with the hedgehogs and um, this is such a fun pattern, really straightforward. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, please feel free to check out my Etsy store and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you back here soon.